When it comes to printing to paper or printing to a PDF file, we need to have a little bit more concentration and effort than perhaps when using a word processor program. When using a word processor, you're already effectively set up for the document you're going to print on. And when you add a new page, it adds a new page to that same file size. So you may be using A4, you may be using portrait, you may be using landscape. In Excel, however, until you've actually got some data entered into your sheet, you won't really know how much paper you require. Now, luckily, it only wants to print the active area. So in our employees file here, that's everything from A1 to the last active cell. And we can get to the last active cell by losing control end on your keyboard all the way across to column T and down to row 101. Now within that area, we can control the size of paper to use, how many pieces of paper to print on, and what else needs printing, as well as the content on the page. So let's go back to A1, Control Home. The first thing I would like to consider when controlling Excel's printing are the titles to print. In our data sheet here, we have 101 rows. The chances of you actually getting 101 rows onto one piece of paper is quite small. So as the data enters a second page and a third page and a fourth page, we'd quite like the top row, which we have here, ID, title, first name, surname, where we have the headings, to be repeated on every single page. By default, they're not. And if we have a look at Print Preview without making any changes to anything, we can access Print Preview from our Quick Access Toolbar. Now on the first page, we can see the titles across the top and then a run of the data. However, on page two, there are no titles, nor on page three. Page four, the titles appear again, but page four is effectively moving to the right in our data. So we won't get any titles on page five because we're then moving down. So what we first need to do is get those titles to repeat on every page. So we go back to our document. On the page layout ribbon, we're looking at the little option here called print titles. If we give that a click, it opens up the page setup dialog box. I'm just gonna move that to the right a little. And what we're after is rows to repeat at top. Now you can have columns to repeat at the left hand side as well, should you have any labels on the left. Now in the makeup of our employees data, it's the titles across the top that I wish to repeat. So I simply click into the white box that says rows to repeat at top, and then I can actually come into the Excel file and click on row one. And what you'll notice is it puts one colon one in rows to repeat at top. If it so happened that the top two rows were headings, I could highlight row one and two, and it would put one colon two. So it has a capability there to repeat a number of rows at the top. However, in our case, it's just row one. So one colon one. Okay, you then go back to print preview and you'll see that they're on the top of the first page still, but they're also on the top of the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and effectively every subsequent page now has that top row repeated at the top of it. So that's getting the print titles to repeat. Back to the document. Another controlling factor that is extremely useful when printing from Excel is to set what's referred to as a print area. Extremely useful if you've got a large spreadsheet and you just want to print part of it. And by setting the print area, you physically set that in stone until you reset the print area so that in future when you want to print, it will only print that section. So taking my employees data, it may be that I'm only interested in perhaps the first few columns. So I would highlight, let's go from A1 all the way across to the town and city, and then down to the end of the data, A1 to H100. So that area is the area I would like to print. Now I could just leave it selected and do a print of the selected area, but because I want the print area to be now set, I would make the highlight and then set that as my print area so I don't have to keep highlighting it when I want to print it. So to make that my print area, stage one is to make the selection, stage two is to go to the page layout ribbon, and then you'll see print area in the page setup group. Now there's a little drop down arrow that has an option to either set the print area, which is the current selection, or clear the print area which would effectively tell Excel to forget about the print area it's got. Now you can only have one print area, you can't have two and then decide which one you want to print. It's either a print area or no print area. So I'm going to set the print area and that sets up this section so that now when I go to print preview, even if I have nothing selected, it only wants to print the print area. And you'll see it's dropped to six pages now. So we're only printing across to the town and city. And in fact, you can see the town and city just tweaks out into its own page. But we can see how to control that shortly. So the first set of controls for controlling things that will be printed from Excel 
is to set your print titles if you've got a lot of data and you need the titles to keep repeating on each page. And then secondly, to set a physical print area so that only that area will ever print. Even if someone else comes and sits at your machine and does what's called a quick print, it will only print that area. Or you come to the machine and say, let's print. It will only print the print area. That print area can be cleared by going to print area, clear print area, and then effectively you're telling Excel to forget about having a print area. So if I choose that option now, and then go to print preview, you'll see that we're back up to 12 pages, which is all of the data wanting to print.